Alright, this is going to be a video of my Handsome Bay Glendale ceiling fan that I got from 2012 in October. For, it was my birthday present for my dad. And it replaced the uh, KDK Industrial Model B 56X5 or XL, one of the two. I'm get, I get that the model name mixed up sometimes. And it's actually a pretty nice fan, even though it's a new fan. It has... It has some features of like a vintage fan and some of a more modern fan. What I what makes me view it as a vintage fan in some ways, like what I like some features that it would have is like the switch cap or the switch housing more likely. And as more modern fans, they don't have switch housing like this no more. They have more from similar to like the hunter style, like the current the ugly ones and. This is something that I like a lot about this fan, it's the switch housing. That's something you'd see on a lot of older fans, like the fans from the 90s and 80s. Especially like the GE Vent fans, so that's something that really caught my attention. And the vents are newer, like on the motor housing, but it's, it has like a mixture of older, of older style and newer style on this fan. That's why I like it a lot. So it's kind of like a combination of both. If you're looking for like something that does the job, this is definitely the fan to get. Because this is like a fan I know, like if you're worried that, oh, it's a fan that will break down right away, this fan does not, this is actually like one of the better fans out there, to be honest. Now, it's not as good as an older fan, I don't get me wrong, but it's not a piece of junk, like for the amount you pay does do a, its a job pretty well. And yeah, I really like this fan a lot. Have no complaints. Made by Aircool, and here's the UL listing for this fan. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to replace this fan with the Casablanca Dota 2, which I bought from Mark Wilson. So, yeah. And the Casablanca Dota 2 is right here. And there's the Kitty K that, that the Glendale replaced. And I bought a fan from Cole Semenko recently, which is being shipped here as I speak right now. It's his one of his one of the two Hunter Passport 2 ceiling fans that he had, that he has. That he found in the trash. He he was selling a lot of fans and there's only like a couple from left, so talk to him and see what he has. I'm I think he still has one passport two left and I, and another one, I forgot what it was called. But yeah, it's being shipped here and it's, and it'll be here in a few days. And I also bought a Hunter Low Profile 2 ceiling fan from him. It was the white one that had the four light kits, the four spot light kit. The white, it was the 52 inch. He got it off of Craigslist for about 20 bucks. And I paid 20 bucks for both fans since he's selling them really cheaply because he just needs more room since he's running out of room since he has a lot of fans so yeah now let me stop talking about other fans right now let me focus on this one and start this one with the white start out started off with the white kit turned on and it does look really nice with the white on. yeah it's actually i like it a lot with the beach oak blades but I'm actually starting to like it a lot with the white weights too. At first, I like, I thought it looked way too plain, but it's starting to give, like, starting, to, like, I'm starting to, like, to, um, be very fond of the white side, to be honest. So, yeah. I like it on both sides equally now. I used to like it more on the bleach joke, and I still do, tiny, like, just very little. Just a tiny bit more, I like more of the bleached oak side. So yeah, maybe start it on low. That's a nice low speed. Blows some air. 
usually in the winter time I have it on low and that's all I need sometimes it'll be on medium or high and the only reason why I would have it on medium or high is because my mom she puts the heat on and this room gets boiling hot in the winter time when, when the heat's on and that I would need to have this fan on high or medium to cool it down because I don't like to sleep with a, a warm room at all so that's another reason why this fan is usually never on reverse so yeah let me show up the lights on <clears throat> All right, now for medium. Yeah, it's been a while since I had this. This fan with the white side showing, probably like last year. Now it's going to be like this until it gets taken down, or I actually might switch it back to the bleach old sign before I take it down, I don't know. But yeah. Both cools down the room pretty well on medium. Usually, that's all I, uh, that's the only, that's all I need from it, it's just on medium, because it Bulls just enough for, for my liking. Now when I get um, it is going to take some time for me to get used to the air movement of the Casablanca because it will blow a lot more air. So I might just have it on medium or low. High, I only use it when it's really, when it's extremely hot. Or just to feel a nice breeze. So yeah. <clears throat> Let me shut off the light. And run it on high. And the main reason why I put this up and took down the K to K was because one, I can just turn it on and off easy by the chains. The K to K when I had it installed, it was just on this switch right here, the on and off switch, so it would only run on high. And I wanted to put a white on it and I could have put the switch that it came with but it just wouldn't have been complicated because this house is older so I couldn't re and it's not my house it's an apartment so I would I couldn't really like modify it the wiring and stuff like that just to make it work since it's plus the wiring's old so I took it down because also it was on a J hook and it hung down the motor was about like right here so the blades are like about right around here and it, that's a big difference compared to where this is. So yeah, it's just more safe too to have it a fan that's more. And plus, having a metal fan like a fan with metal blades like that, and at a lower, much lower than this, it was just not safe in my opinion. And also, with the bunk bed, that would that was, it wasn't a good idea to have an industrial fan either. Well, installed in this room. But once I move out, once we move out of here sometime in the future, it will be installed again, maybe in my, in a garage, in a basement or a garage, or in a kitchen, maybe, I don't know. And it will have to wait, so I'll, I can be looking forward to that. Or it actually might not have to wait, but I'll show it running one time in the future. Let me get closer so you can hear the air movement. Now with the light. And now let me shut off the light and put it on reverse. Now I'm not gonna show it with the light on on reverse because it's basically the same thing. So yeah. Now for low. And the other reason why I flipped the blades over was because they were starting to warp a tiny bit because this one is the most it's very humid. It's, it's a bit humid in this room compared to the other rooms in the house. So I think that's why the blades are warping again. And also they're not the best quality. It is cheap wood that they use on fans today. But they do, but they're not like crap. Like they are bad. 
you know, the best quality compared to like the code up blades, even though the code up doesn't have the best blades either, in my, I think. Well, they're better than this, no doubt, but if you get like blades from like a Hummer or a Casablanca, that's, that's a different story. All right now for medium. And yes, I know some some of you guys do want me to do an update on my on the fans in my house, but I have I'm not going to do that right now because there's just not much of a change. It's just okay. I have a couple new fans, but once I install, I take this down, put the console blanket up, and get the um, other code up installed. I'll do another video so I can show you all the fans like. The updating, because that's more of an update if I have a couple of fans switched out and not just one new fan up. So, yeah. Now for high on my verse. Alright. Now, a while ago, when my dad got the Hunter Augusta from a friend of his. He did try to install it in this room. When this used to be the bedroom that not no nobody used because at the time I was I was sleeping with my mom cause when I was younger. But this so yeah, this room just used to be like it had a bed like a mattress on the floor and it was just uh a room that had a bunch of clothes in it like it was a huge it used to call this the messy room. So yeah, he just tried to put it. He did try to install it here, but for some reason he said he couldn't, that there was something came up with it, like, and I'm guessing that it's the mounting bracket that he didn't have, because when I got it, it had everything except the globes and the mounting bracket, so that's why, I think that was the reason why he couldn't install it. But I'll be having a better fan up, which is the Casablanca Delta 2. Now, if I didn't have, if I didn't get that Casablanca Delta 2 from Mark Wilson, I would have um put the Hunter Passport 2 that I'm getting from Cole Semenko. But I do want to have an experience with, Cons with a Casablanca fan. So yeah. Now let me shut it off. And do the spin down on it. Sorry if it's on reverse. And it's doing a spin down. But I'm not going to put it forward just to do a spin down. So it's just still a spin down. So here it is. Takes a good couple minutes to stop since the bearings are broken in a bit. So here's some things I'm gonna, that are going to be coming up in the future. I am going to, my aunt that owns the um, Coastal Breeze steering fan with the yellow waves, she did agree to give me those, the fans she has in the basement. The um, Wasco TOC, which is known as the turn of the century. The Kodep, uh, um, the Kodep Meteor, and the uh, Hunter Studio Series. She doesn't want to give it away because she doesn't know if she'll install it in her piano room again. So I, and I understand that. So the other two she doesn't mind parting with. So I, I am going to be getting those in the future. I don't know when, but she said I can have them. So yeah. It's going to stop anytime soon. So yeah. So yeah, once I have the code I've installed, I will do a video of it. But I think the Hunter Passport 2 will get here before I even put up the code up. The code up should, I mean, not the code up, the, the, the Delta 2. Alright, now is that a complete stop? Almost. <laughs> and right about now. Alright, thanks for watching.